everybody, and welcome to Larry's Country Diner. Oh, have we got a show for you today. You're going to love every minute of it, I guarantee. Now here's a man who says somebody took it just a little too far when they put anchovies on a bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> I tend to agree. There's Larry! I don't like anchovies. Me neither. What are they doing on a hamburger? Not my hamburger. <laughs> All right, little Stephanism here. Now, these are, this is true. Mm -hmm. 1994, September 17th, Alabama's Heather Whitestone was selected as Miss America in 1995. Okay. The question they ask her, if you could live forever, would you and why? Her answer was, I would not live forever because we should not live forever. Because if we were supposed to live forever, then we would live forever. But we cannot live forever, which is why I would not live forever. I'm glad she cleared that up for me. Miss Alabama, 1994. <laughs> she must have been real pretty. She must have been real pretty, yeah. <laughs> you can be real pretty and get away with stuff like that. Yeah. Man. Heck yeah. Mm. John 4.14, this is the promise. Whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst. The water I give him will become in him a spring of water welling up. To eternal life. I like that. Ooh, this one I have used time and time again. This one is 1 Corinthians 14, 33. For God is not a, the author of confusion, but of peace. Man, I wish we could get that through Congress. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> the first couple to be shown in bed together on Prime TV was... John Lennon and Yoko Ono. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could. You, you were watching the wrong channel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I might have not, not been that early. I don't know when that We didn't get that channel in Cookville. <laughs> Fred and Wilma Flintstone. Unbelievable. That's why I said Wilma. Remember yeah, you used to always say that? Yeah, they do. I mean, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that do is that. two. That's too obvious. <laughs> I'm going to keep it and try again. And I have a... There's one here that I really wanted to tell you about. All right, Luann, I'm losing my brain. We <clears> know <throat> that. Is this news to you, Luann? <laughs> All right. Well, we'll find that one later. Okay. It was things that women have created, invented, that you wouldn't believe. You know, there is a, there is a, a country act that's more than a country act. Yeah. And she's with us right now. She yeah. Is. She certainly is. Your, your career <laughs> impresses me. Hmm. You're sweet to say that. I, I'm just all over the place is all. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you were, you were kind of championing uh, areas that nobody else was doing back when you were just out in your car, running around doing gigs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was like getting free guitar lessons, you know? I meet people, <laughs> they'd teach me some songs, and it was sort of like getting education on the fly, so. Yeah. Where was the strangest place you played when you were back in them the their days? strangest place? Well, you know, I used to play a lot out there in Red Lodge. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I... Used to have there's a little uh, bar out there. I'm trying to think of the name of it. I want to say it's oh shoot. There was a snag bar. Uh, it starts with an S, I think. But anyway, I used to have to stand on the pool table. They would put a board across the pool table, and they would take some wire and take the the pool light, uh -huh. and they would put it up against the ceiling so I could stand on the pool table, and that was my stage. So oh, it was wow. a very unusual place. So, But that's not the only place that I did that. There was a place in Dixon, Illinois I did that, too. Stood on the pool table as the stage. Could so. you sink the eight ball with your boots? You know, <laughs> I don't remember. I Thank God there were no balls on the table. because I would have been on the you, table as well. You would have so. slipped on everyone yeah, else, Yeah, right? it would not have been a good scene, I'm Susie sure. Susie Boggess, oh. give us a song. Yeah. It's so nice to see Woo! everybody. Yeah. I'm just, I'm a little out of uh, practice from being so, uh, like, live with y'all. This is wonderful. 
Um, so I'm going to sing a song I wrote with Matresa Berg and Gary Harrison a long time ago. And it was the first song that I wrote with Matresa, and she used to think I was just like, oh, it's the sweetest. You know, she thought I was a, a goody two shoes. Uh -huh. So when we got to writing this song, and we were being a little bit catty about our little fairy tale princess in this song, she all of a sudden she decided she liked me. So <laughs> we've been friends for a long time now, so. We believed in fairy tales that day I watched your father give you away Your aim was true and the pink bouquet Fell right into my hands We danced for hours, we drank champagne You screamed and laughed when I got up and sang And then you rode away in a white Mustang To your castle in the sand and the kids and the jobs and the dreams that lost their way Do you ever stop and wonder Do you ever just want to say Hey, Cinderella What's the story all about I got a funny feeling We missed a page or two somehow Cinderella, maybe you could help us out. Does a shoe fit you now? Does it fit you now? We're older, but no more the wise. We've learned the art of compromise. Sometimes we laugh. Sometimes we cry and sometimes we just break down We're good now cause we have to be Come to terms with our vanity Sometimes we still curse gravity When no one is around and Dogs gather dust in the corner of the attic Bicycles rust in the rain Still we walk in that fable shadow Sometimes we call her name Hey, Cinderella What's the story all about? I got a funny feeling We missed a page or two somehow Oh, Cinderella Maybe you could help us out Does the shoe Fit you now, Cinderella. Maybe you could help us out. Does a shoe fit you now? Does it fit you now? And how about those size 29 waist jeans? Hey, Cinderella. Oh, yeah. yeah. Funny to watch television shows, the uh, the networks, and they all have been very, very open about. I put on weight. Oh, COVID nineteen. Everybody's inches. It. Yeah. <laughs> the the wardrobe departments are constantly resewing stuff. <laughs> I'm sure it's, it's happening to all of us. We're all like, I was like, oh, I think I'll wear a jacket today. <laughs> <laughs> A good day for a jacket. Might be That's cold right. in that studio. <laughs> uh. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Oh, and we've still got Nadine to go. Don't go anywhere. Larry's Country Diner. We'll be right back. <laughs> hey. And welcome back to Larry's Country Diner, where the fun's just beginning. That's Larry right there. Yes, and it will never end. Never end. The fun never ends. I was talking, Buddy Kalb was on a couple of weeks ago, and I was talking to him about, because of my back situation, I am using two canes mm -hmm. to keep balance and so forth. And I told him, I said, I'm, I'm going to work on my, my new wrap 
act. Rap? I'm going to become a rapper. Yeah. I'm going to come, become Tucane Black. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see this TikTok. <laughs> so he wrote, he started playing with the thing. Hey, uh -oh. you. Yeah, you. Don't nobody care about the style or about the color of your underwear. But if you got a skinny backside or a billboard butt, you know how to rhyme, how to learn to sing. Now pull your britches up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, yeah, I could do that. You need to get a little rhythm going. You, yeah, you, you, you can do it. Now pull them britches up. What else are we supposed to do? Ooh, Nadine. Yeah, I hear that pioneer music. Nadine. Aww. She can't get the door open. Here, here she comes. Here's the girlfriend. How y'all doing? Nadine. Yeah. What do these things have in common? Bulletproof vests, fire escapes, windshield wipers, and laser printers. What do those things it's have in common? It's just too early for me to figure this yeah. out. <laughs> They I were all invented by women. Well, wow. you know, me and Homer had this discussion the other day. <laughs> <laughs> he said that man invented the toilet. <laughs> and I said, yeah, but it was a woman that decided to cut the hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. And then the fight started. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, that was one of Thomas Crapper's bigger inventions. Who? Thomas Crapper. <laughs> Can you say that on Google here? it? Well, Google it was his I name. I Googled it before. I know what that is. And it was it was the flush toilet. He did it. He did back the when they had, he had the, the bowl chain. up in the air. Yeah, yeah. He did it. So we had Thomas one Crapper. of them. Yeah, that's where our fire started. We never <laughs> did never did reach the house though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Susie. That's so good. How are you? That. I'm good. How are you? It's so good to good. see you. Good to see you, too. <laughs> I was reading about you uh, talking about Merle. Oh. And I love that one paragraph that you were talking about. You know, you said it was just like y'all used to listen to it when you and your friends would go out. Yeah. And uh, it was like listening to it, the solutions to adult problems. Yep. And there wasn't a truck or a bonfire in it. Yes. <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> there wasn't a truck or a bonfire. I think you and you and Colin Rake should get together and do a song. Oh, that He was... said the same thing. Did he? He said, That's I'm not going to write another song that has a truck in it. Because <laughs> everybody does it. Well. Yeah. Went out to Cracker Barrel yesterday with yep. Biden Lois. And, you know, they gotta, you gotta, you're supposed to wear a mask in there. Clyde gets in there and he won't. He won't wear his. He said, I just can't wear it. He said, it's like my brain ain't getting enough oxygen. I said, well, son, that ship's already sailed. <laughs> <laughs> you can wear this mask. <laughs> <laughs> he went to the doctor last week. He had a swollen foot. I mean, it was, it was bad. It looked bad. He went to the doctor, and the doctor talked to him a minute, and he said, well, look, here, I'm going to give you this pill. And he said it was huge. He said it was a huge pill. And he said, the doctor said, I'm going to go get you some water. So he left and he said it, he was gone for a long time. And I thought, well, shoot, I can't wait. I'm just going to go ahead and take it. So he went, hobbled out there in the hallway and the water fountain and took him about 15 minutes to swallow this thing. He finally got it down. He went back, hobbled back in the room, sat down. The doctor comes in with a big old bucket of water and said, when that tablet dissolves in there, I want you to soak your foot for 20 minutes. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. I said, I said, you know, common sense is not a gift. Uh, yeah, that's correct. It's a punishment. <laughs> to try to put up with all these people that don't have any common sense. Do you know, I, I, had, a, I had a woman tell me that she went into Costco and uh, she, she said, I am not wearing a mask. And so she went in Costco and they came up to her and said, you, now this is true. She said, you got they got, you got to have a mask on to come in here. And she said, I have got CS and I cannot wear one. And they said, oh, I'm sorry, and let her go. 
I said, what in the world is CS? She said, common sense. <laughs> <laughs> so I got CS now. <laughs> but you know, I, sometimes I wonder how we, why this country looks for other uh, planets that have uh, intelligent life on it, because we ain't even got it here. I don't know why they're looking for it elsewhere. I'm gonna shut up and let Susie sing. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put the sign up. It's gonna and say, it will say, you were always responsible for how you act, no matter how you feel. Remember that. That's no, you remember else. that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a given, Keith. <laughs> Strike one for Keith. <laughs> that was a hit. Mm -hmm. He didn't have a strike on that one. We have a super guest with us. Susie Boggess. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you all. Thanks so much. Well, I, actually, I'm going to do a Merle Haggard song. So uh, uh, this is one of my favorite ones. I, my dad was a shop worker at International Harvester, and uh, he carpooled with a bunch of guys up to work every day, and they loved to listen to country music. And so that's how I got, um, that's how I got my, you know, my you know, love for Merle is, is from my dad and you right. know being a little kid and hearing those stories about um you know grown up life and I was like oh, I don't want to grow up <laughs> <laughs> but uh this one really rings true because um every once in a while there would be a strike or something during the time that uh, Christmas would come yeah. and this one really hits home for me because um I just feel like Merle just nailed the feeling of that uh, sort of hopeless, helplessness of like wanting to make better for your family, but you yep. can't. Daddy's girls Well I don't mean to hate December It's meant to be the happy time of year But our little girl don't understand Why mom and daddy can't afford no Christmas here If we make it through Everything's gonna be all right, I know It's the coldest time of winter And I shiver when I see that falling snow If we make it through December Got plans to be in a warmer town come summertime Maybe even California If we make it through December We'll be fine Ben. 
Got plans to be in a warmer town come summertime. Maybe even California. If we make it through December, we'll be fine. Songwriters amaze me. Singers amaze me. Guitar players amaze me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How about announcers? Do they? Oh no. <laughs> no. I worked Took with too, too many far, of them. <laughs> You're quite a guitar player too. Oh my goodness. Well, I uh, try to hold up my plan to the deal, but I, I really I love to play guitar. I just. Uh, you know, I tend to choke sometimes, but uh, having somebody giving you the oh. the backup there, yeah. that was great. You know, the thing is about Ben here is that the first time I saw him play was down at the Country Music Hall of Fame, and ever since then I've wanted to play with him, and this is wonderful. Thanks, so I'm really Thanks. enjoying it. He's, he's wonderful. <laughs> Me too. Let's take a quick break and get out of here for a minute. Oh, the voice and the guitar together again. We'll be back with more right after this. Yes. Welcome back to Larry's Country there. Uh, diners, by the way, you notice on the menu there, we have a special today. It's Susie Baga Caesar Salad and Pasta. It's her favorite pig out food, and it's healthy. You can't beat that. There's Larry. Do you really like that stuff? Depends on how much sausage you put in the pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Give us another song, Susie. Okay. This is actually it's a song I wrote with, with my husband, Doug Kreider. Um, this is a new song, and it's a single for me right now. So um, this is, you guys are my first uh, time performing it, so uh, keep your fingers crossed and pray for me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Well, I'm two weeks on the road now, God knows I'm beat. But the crowd was really there tonight, and the band played sweet. They'll drive for home tonight, they've loaded up the truck. If I don't leave right now, I guess I'm stuck. They had a foot and a half of rain down on the coast last week But some folks drove up for the show all the way from Orange Beach Well, it's midnight now and home's just a couple hundred miles I'll stay right here with these nice folks and talk a while Sun to Birmingham on a one night stand. If I left right now, I'd be home by three. But I'll stay where I am, head down in folded hands. Cause Sun to Birmingham's a damn fine place to be. Now the wedding party's drunk in the hotel bar. Come quad vodka on the rocks in a mason jar. Matching lilac dresses and pink bow ties. Little sister just got married, and we don't like the guy. Sunday Birmingham On a one night stand I could still make sunrise home in Tennessee But I stay where I am Head down in full 
folded hands Cause Sunday Birmingham's a damn fine place to be Last night, this parking lot was a dangerous place This morning feels like Easter, amazing graves There's blooms on all the locusts and catalp trees Church bells and hickory smoke floating on the breeze Sunday Birmingham On a one night stand oh, I could get some sleep And still be home by three But I'll stay where I am Head down and folded hands Cause Sunday Birmingham's a damn fine place to be Sunday Birmingham's a damn fine place to be. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Doug Kreider, Doug Kreider, Doug Kreider. Doug Kreider. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here for a moment. Doug will be back in just a minute. He's right over there. <laughs> there he's, Country Diner. <laughs> Anyway, here's a good old one, and I know you love this one, Keith, so I thought that we'd play it. To, it's it. dedication. Thank this you. is dedicated. Oh, to the one Three, I love. Four, one. There's a young man that I know. His age is 21. Comes from down in southern Colorado Just out of the service He's looking for his fun Someday soon Going with him Someday soon My parents cannot stand him Cause he rides the rodeo Father says that he will leave me crying I would follow him right down The roughest road I know Someday soon Going with him someday soon But when it comes to call My pa ain't got a good word to say Guess it's cause he's just as wild In his younger days So blow you old blue northern Blow my love to me He's riding in the night from California He loves his day Much as he loves me Someday soon I'm Going with him Someday soon younger 
days So blow your blue northern Blow my love to me He's riding in the night from California He loves his damn old rodeo As much as he loves me Someday soon Going with him Someday soon Someday soon Going with him Someday soon Susie Boggess. Woo! Woo! Oh. Mercy. Thank you, Susie. Thank you guys for having me back. I've, I've had a great time. Thanks so much.